What is this car? Lutsoka. Hmm. That is pretty cute. That's a really neat car. Yeah. Look at those hubcaps and everything. That's beautiful. That is really, really cool. Steering wheel. That is some neat, cute car. I really, really like this thing. Can I have it? <laughs> I'm just so into vintage stuff. I, I don't even know what year this is. New, what do you think? This is like 70s or what? No idea, man. I don't even know how to tell on these cars. Mitsuoka. That is really cute. Guys, what you think about this little cute puppy? <laughs> vintage, vintage, classic. Nice. Very nice car. Damn, bro, that's cool. Is this like a car dealership? They're selling it? Oh, yeah. yeah Ooh. Oh, this thing is cool. Bro, look around. Look at all these benzes and everything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this thing is fire. Fat fenders. Look at those fat fenders. Yeah, that's not bad comparing to like some other prices. AMG. That's sick. AMG. G55. How about that? I really, really like this thing. I've always been a fan of G-Wagons. You know, they started a long time ago, back in the 80s. They made the diesel G-Wagons. Up until today, they're making these amazing cars. Beautiful. Keep it up, Mercedes-Benz. I love these cars. This is S400 hybrid. That's really interesting. Really, really interesting. Right hand drive. Big, big car. It's interesting they have a Challenger here too, so they probably imported that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I don't care about those. <laughs> These are cool though. This is cool. V8 B Turbo. That is a sweet car. Nice. How much is it? 395? Something? 40 grand for it? Yeah, 40 grand. I like that. Yeah. CLS 63 AMG. Yeah. Big calipers. Been sitting for a little while. Yeah, obviously. It's probably having more. It's probably really cute. Right? Nah, I mean, I don't know who would. Huh? Yeah. It's left hand drive on this one. Yeah. That's cool. Mm, carbon wing, dude. That's a car I would drive. Yeah, this is a cool car I for would sure. Want that car. I wouldn't pay that price for it unless it was. Another S class. They are kind of cool. <laughs> what are they? I don't know. I don't even know. They're it looks really interesting. Kind of cool. Yeah. Really cool cars. We have lots of minis here, guys. They're literally just for sale. All right, guys, we're gonna show you something really, really cool. Maybe cool, maybe not cool. I've never seen something like that before. But it's also kind of sad because this car that you're about to see has been sitting here forever and it's like the rustiest Porsche, old school Porsche that I've ever seen, honestly. It's uh, actually pretty sad story i mean i don't know the story the actual story i don't know maybe somebody passed away and they just left this car here but it's a legit a left-hand drive carrera. uh carrera yeah uh 9 11 
it's pretty sad. If you see like all the body panels, you see it, look at the roof, literally it's all pitted. It's just super, super uh, rusty. I don't know uh, honestly how long it's been sitting here for, but probably for a super long time. Look at these doors, they're just literally gone. There's just flakes, flakes on that thing. And these cars in immaculate condition in the United States are sold for like $100,000, uh, if not more. Uh, it's pretty sad seeing something like this abandoned and just rusting away. Uh, I really don't know. I wish I could find out the whole story about this car or anything. It's And it's not just this car. There's a couple more cars over there that are abandoned. There's like a Honda CRX uh, sitting there also abandoned and rusting away. Uh, yep. But here's the car, Lily me. H4, Bosch, headlights, all that good stuff, antenna. Oh, this is this is sad seeing something like this, honestly. But this baby's here. I really don't know what's gonna happen to it. It's probably just gonna sit here for the for the rest of their lives. I mean, if you can think, imagine how expensive these taillights are. And this metal lens on this car, like these bumper bump stops, like the old school cars have, like this is super cool. Super nice air cooled car. I mean, I don't know much about these cars, honestly, but I just wanted to share something with you. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are into these cars and love these cars. Uh, so this is one of these cars that you need to truly appreciate. But sometimes this is how you see them even here in Japan. Literally, I mean, you would think that Japan, Japanese people or like Japan would have just the nicest cars in the world, but it's not really the case. They also have something like this, guys. Just so you know, but still, I think Jap Japan is one of those countries where they take care of things and cars and everything really, really well. And a lot of Japanese cars or, you know, a lot of cars here in Japan are just super nice and immaculate, you know, but just sometimes super rarely uh pretty rare occasions uh, that you see that you know something like this just abandoned and not being taken care of uh, not being driven none of that literally every single panel on this car has rust it's very very sad okay here's another car it's a crx it's been sitting here for a long long time it also has rust Yeah, they've been here for super, super long time, guys. Super long time. But this is how they are. There's a lot of rust, a lot of rust everywhere uh, on this car. And mainly, from what I know, it's probably because we're close to the ocean and just salt and everything, that's, that's what it does here. Uh, and also humidity. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty sad seeing something like this here, guys. I mean, I can probably only guess when was the last time it was running. Who knows, maybe over 10 years ago, I don't know. And then another sad thing is that there's more cars. So there's another CRX right there, abandoned. And there's more cars right over here. This looks like Mitsubishi, uh, what is it, Mirage? Evo 3. Oh, Evo 3, yeah. Yeah, it's, look at this. I mean, it's, it's crazy seeing something like that. I mean, they're like super expensive cars. Yep, R32 GTS right here, Nissan. And there's another Subaru right there that we'll show you from the other side. But yeah, seeing something like that, guys, it makes me really sad. I mean, as long as it's not a BMW or Mercedes, I mean, it's, but still it's, it's super sad. You know, even, I, I mean, I do like classic Japanese cars, not gonna lie, and German cars, but it's just sad. Yeah, let me know all your thoughts in the comments, you know, what you think about all this. But yes, you do see something like that in Japan as well. Yep. They're literally legit, beautiful cars. I mean, you can see that you can wash this hood. It's going to be really nice and shiny. But because it's been sitting here, like, this is, this is kind of the stuff that happens. I mean, I really don't know the history or whether somebody passed away or did something. I mean, I honestly don't know but it's very, very upsetting, you know? So yeah, make sure you take care of your classic cars, guys. Make sure you love them, give them all the love, fix them, uh, hug your classic cars. Don't forget about that, you know, because you will wake up, any day you wake up, the 
classic car that you have, it will not tell you that it doesn't love you anymore. It will always be there for you. So remember that. So seeing all these cars here just makes me sad, but it is what it is. I mean, unfortunately I can't do anything about it. I'm here for another like couple weeks and then I'm gonna be leaving and I don't even know if I can find, it looks like this, the uh, behind this wall, there's like a, I don't know, like a store, automotive store or shop, but I really don't know. There's nobody inside. So I can't tell what's going on. But however, there's other cars parked here. Uh, some of them, like three of these cars are not abandoned. So people drive them. But these other ones, they're just been, they've just been sitting. Um, and I don't know nothing else about them. Yeah, so we're actually pretty close to the ocean. So that's, that's my only guess is that that's what happened to this car. But it must have been sitting here for I don't know a long long time guys look at all these flakes I mean but look at the glass I mean it's almost like new it's got a chip in it but the glass itself is perfect but literally every single panel fenders doors roof they're just they're just gone I think the the this hood the trunk is like the best shape body panel on this and probably the bumpers too I mean the bumpers are metal looks like yeah they're, they're metal but, uh, ooh, I wish I knew anything about this little sweet car. I mean, I know there's so many enthusiasts of these cars. I mean, I do love classic Porsches. I do. And uh, one of my friends back in the US, he was like, hey, just bring me this car. And there's a couple other guys that are like, I will restore this car and just give it to me. <laughs> yeah, cool stuff. Well, super sad seeing this car guys uh being in such a poor shape abandoned but i hope that maybe somebody someday maybe some really nice japanese guy who's a true enthusiast of this car will take care of this car hopefully i really really hope i have good hopes for it i don't know but maybe because like i said guys these these cars even in the shape like this these cars are still expensive but being in the best immaculate shape they're literally over a hundred thousand dollars back in the United States. Uh, if you look uh, on eBay or whatever, yeah, they're just skyrocketed in price. Um, so yeah, just super sad seeing this car. Um, but like I said, I do have some hopes for it. I know that Japanese people love these cars and I know that it's gonna cost quite a bit to fix it. If this car was in the United States, I would probably find out who's the owner and maybe I would probably buy this car off of them. You know? Because otherwise, I mean, I don't know who else can you know, save this car at this point. But hopefully, I still have some hopes that somebody will do that. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below all your thoughts that you think. And uh, let me know what kind of classic cars you guys have. Really, I would be really interested to find out what you guys drive. All my subscribers and viewers and friends. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for all your support. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care of classic cars. Don't forget. Just like I promised, guys. This is what these cars look like from here. There's that Subaru. I think it's STI from the 90s. They're just all chilling here. Super, super sad. So another car that I really, really like. These were made in like 2006 range. Uh, year uh, 2007 it's a CLS pretty common in the United States as well really really like the wheels I remember I had a Mercedes W208 with these same type of wheels they're 18 inch uh, it's a right-hand drive and uh, super beautiful nice car and the headlights are really nice and clean as well I really really like it super nice awesome car and wonder who's uh, who owns this car. Maybe some uh, older Japanese uh, gentleman. Who knows? But uh, like I said, Japanese people really take care of things and everything. It looks like it was just washed as well. Super clean, nice CLS.